Hey, what's up, guys? What's going on? So, you may be interested in trying to rip DVDs that you have at home using your Unraid system and not Windows for whatever reason. For for my case, is I don't want to leave my computer on at night ripping DVDs. So, let's say for instance, I'm down to the last movie and I want to go to bed, and I don't want to stay up, and I don't want to leave my computer on. I could just use my uh, server the unraid server to rip the last dvd and i can go to bed also i don't want to do it in a vm i just want to do it in a docker so in this video we will try to figure out how to con uh how to get uh a docker setup we're going to try to get mkv setup so we so we can rip dvds in mkv so i just bought a i just bought a dvd a blu-ray burner off amazon it came yesterday so i installed it already i don't think you would have been interested in seeing me install that so it's no big deal so let me show you what i have if you aren't familiar with my videos so i have this uh external dvd player slash burner that i use to rip dvds with my computer but like i was saying before i do not want to leave my computer on ripping the last dvd before i go to bed because i don't want to leave my computer on at night i just turn it off i'm already i'm already running two servers so why would i leave my computer on along with two servers when i could have the server do the video So I just installed this LG uh, Blu-ray burner here and I'm going to try to get this set up so that I could rip uh, DVDs from this burner. So let's see if we can get that done. The DVD burner is in server number two, which is this server right here. As you can see, it doesn't show up out here out for some reason. I don't know why uh, Unraid has it in such a way it doesn't show up out here. But if we come to tools, is it tools? Yeah, system devices. Let's see if we can find it. Okay, so here it is. Uh, SR, uh, CD, DVD player. So here it is. So, full disclosure, I've already set this up. So, I'm just going through the motions like if I've never done it before. For your benefit. So, here we go. So, so, we found it. We found the DVD player and it is Dev SR0. That's a zero. So, that's the DVD player. So, let's go find a DVD uh burner docker so let's go to apps and i think i want to use mkv so let's find make oh, there it is here we go make mkv so we have it seems like we have three popped up here so ben hex let's use this one let's use this make mkv right here so storage user so where do we want to put these files so we want to put these files so we want to put these files uh over here in the plex all right, so we want to put them in Plex when they burn. All right, okay, and automatic ripping, enable, set one to enable. Yes, I want this to rip automatically. To eject after ripping, no, because I have a, I have a cabinet. So if I do that, it will hit cabinet door and go right back in, so I won't do that. I guess I can leave this one, MKV. Rip mode, MKV, yeah. 
Rip blue laser and give me a sit zero to output this little uh, set one. Okay, so let's apply this and try to get. Uh, oops, output directory storage. Oh, I did it wrong. Uh, so actually, this is. Wait, hold on. Let me see something. Show more settings. Okay. 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 So what did I do wrong? Storage output directory user. Oh, you know what? So just leave this as this location contains files from your host that need to be accessible by the application container path storage. Okay, you know what? I'm going to leave this as mount. But this is the output folder, so I had that wrong. So, so we're going to use this uh, one here, Flex. Ooh. So this is the output uh, for the converted files. All right, so we can we can leave all these other things and let's just go into it. So let's let it run, install. There we go. It is. Uh, ba -ba -ba, dee -dee -dee. So it's finished, right? Okay. So let's go to Docker's and here it is, make MKV. So let's go to the web UI. And it says this program can't find any usable optical device. So it doesn't work. Check over here. Hmm. Nothing it doesn't work. So let's go back to Let's go back to the Docker, go to edit and see what it says here. Uh, an optical drive is represented by two Linux device, device files. And that would be these two, dev SRX and dev SGY. For optical performance, a container needs both of them. So if your optical drive is represented by SR0 or SRG, you need to add these. Uh, so let's check over here. It says basic view. Uh, let's go to advanced view and see what we got. Extra parameters. So we need to add extra parameters. Okay. No. So, but what parameters do we need to add? We need to add the two files, the two Linux files for the DVD burner. So we know when we go to tools, it says this SR is one of those parameters, right? SR zero. Let's see what else the Docker says. Go to the web UI. Oops, sorry, not the web UI. Let's go to edit. Now it says, uh, okay, to determine the right devices to use, start the container and look at its logs. So the container is started, correct? Let's see if the container is started. Go to Docker's. Yes, it is started. So here are the logs over here. See, it says logs. So we go to the container logs over here. Now let's see what the logs say. The logs got lost. Okay, so let's find the DVD information over here in the logs. So we know SR0 is one of the devs for the uh, the DVD burner, correct? Okay, so let's see if we can find SR0. Let's go to the top. Optical drives right here, okay? So what do we have here? So it says, found optical drive, dev SR0, dev SG3. So we know this is the other dev we need because we need to put two devs, correct? But it is not usable because the host device SR0 is not exposed to the container. The host device dev 
SG3 is not exposed to container. No usable optical drive found. So what does that mean? It means that these two are not in our Docker. So we need to put these two in our Docker. So put this aside for a minute. And let's go back to the Docker. Let's go to edit. Now it says again, if it's represented by these two, these two need to be in the parameters. So let's put these two in the parameters. Because we already know that we have SR0 and SG3. But this is not SG3. But we know what ours is already. So let's go over to advanced view. And it says put these in the extra parameters. So we're going to copy and paste that like this, right? And then we're going to go back here and we're going to add three. So extra parameters, dev SR0, dev SG3 are our devices. Now yours may be different. You need to check the logs to find out what yours may be. I'm not going to mess with any of this other stuff. The CPUs and all that stuff. That should be fine. And we're going to hit apply. And let's see what it says when we go and reopen the container. So let's go here. Let's see what we got. Uh, it doesn't work. Let's check the log, see what the log says. All right, close that again. Hit the web UI again. Ah, oh, there it is. It just needed a couple minutes to come up. So here is the, the DVD burner we have. So it's a DVD Blu-ray burner. And this is the drive dev SR0 OS device name SR0. See? So the SR0 is here. It's a DVD ROM, blah, 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 blah. Hardware, all that crap. So she works. So what do we have here? Uh, oh, there is a DVD in here. So it started. But let's stop it. Let's stop. Yes, stop it and eject the DVD. Now we did set everything to go automatically when you enter the disk. So we have a disk here. Uh, I'll give you a quick view of the disk. No, matter of fact, not going to do that. So let's put this disk in. So I just put it in and it's loading. Please wait. It should automatically start ripping because I had it on automatic. So it's loading, it's loading, it's loading. <laughs> While we wait for that to load. And it's ripping. Ripping this 1970. So it automatically started ripping. So let's go see 1970. Here it is. 1970, but the folder is empty. It automatically started. The folder is empty and it's going. Oh, there it is right now. This one title just came in.
Okay, so it looks as though it's finished. And these are the videos here. I am going to pull up one of the videos. So here we go. Let's look at title one because this is the biggest video. So let's open that up. Make sure the volume is off. It's going. Obviously, people have to rename this one. I'll delete the others. I don't need the others. I just need the first largest video. So it looks as though it's showing in case YouTube's um, algorithm is tracking this. I'll try to obscure it as much as possible. So that is the video. It has been ripped. I guess that's all you need to see. And I need to go in there and rename those. So there it is. So let's recap. You physically install the drive. We rebooted the system. And now we need to see if the DVD drive is being picked up by Unraid. So we checked the devices that were installed, the list of devices, and we found the CD DVD drive here installed representative by dev s on zero so we know when we install the docker in order to get to map the dvd drive to it we needed to uh we need to map this sr0 so we come over now and we go back to the docker we ran the docker like the like the app said to do in the description and we check the logs so we checked the logs and we came down to find the uh, the SR. So let's look for container. We knew we know that it was under container. So here it is under container, right? So we know we had uh, optical drive found found optical drive and these were and these two were the representatives of the drive the dev sr0 and sg now it told us right here that we need to edit the parameters and add these two devs in the parameters and we know that this one was actually sd3 so we came over to basic view we came to extra parameters and we added the extra parameters right here. That lit that line that was that was up. That line that was uh, somewhere up there. All right, the line that they said to use, which is right here. This line right here. They told us to use this line. And we added this line and we put the three instead of the two because our drive was represented by three as it said in the docker logs and that's all we needed to do we didn't need to add anything else over here we didn't need to add any extra uh stuff over here extra configurations we didn't need to do any of that done here web ui and it's right here working. So that was all we needed to do to get this up and running. I hope that helps you because I could not find any videos on this on YouTube.
maybe there is i i just couldn't find it maybe there is a video i i did not see it i could not find it so i'm putting this out there in case you need it and that is how you do it and from what i made to understand after further research is that that same uh extra parameter will work in all of the make mkv uh dockers so you don't need to use this particular docker you can use any of the other mkv dockers Let's pull them up. Make there it is. Make MKV. So we got three other Dockers. But sorry, we got two other Dockers. These two right here. The Ben Hex and this one. Uh, from my understanding, that same line of of uh, code for the extra parameters can be added to these two Dockers, and it will work. So there you go, guys. I hope that helps you because it really did help me. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.